It still has a hold on people living near the Elkhorn and Platte Rivers. The Unified Command Center is still in full operation. With waters going down, responders are able to get an up-close look at the damage instead of relying on aerial footage and witness reports. It's very helpful to have those roads open because now we can get eyes on uh, all those affected areas and those uh, damages that we do see. The Nebraska Emergency Management website indicates an early estimated statewide impact of $500 million. The Douglas County numbers aren't in, but Sarpy is already reporting $100 million in damage to public property. Douglas County Emergency Manager Paul Johnson says they could easily surpass that number with the wastewater treatment plant and some roads being destroyed. County commissioners discussed funding at Tuesday's meeting. If the flooding gets a U.S. disaster declaration, the cost is shared, with federal assistance paying 75 percent and the rest coming locally. The state and county or city would split the rest. Commissioner Kraft questioned if the state could come up with their part. The money has to come from somewhere. We need to be prepared for not just additional costs this year, additional costs the next two or three or four years, because this is not going to be solved overnight. Chairman Chris Rogers asked for the people to be patient because the situation is fluid. He says they'll figure out the costs after everyone's accounted for and lives are getting back on track. Once we get everybody safe and everything's there, uh, we don't want anybody to be thinking about money now. Right now, think about protocol safety and how do we get everybody settled. The Emergency Command Center has been open for about a week, being staffed 24-7. Emergency Manager in Douglas County, Paul Johnson, says it's unclear exactly when they will feel comfortable enough to not have to do that anymore. Reporting in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazkowski, 3 News Now.